Wondering how to create a quiz in Kajabi for your course or digital product? Hey, it's Arit here from Estatino Media, helping you create profitable content. Creating quizzes are not only a great way to engage your students in what they're learning, but it's also an excellent tool to gather data from your students and feedback so you'll know what you're able to offer to them in the future. And Kajabi makes it really easy to create, customize, and automate the grading of the quizzes. I'll first show you how to create a quiz and also how to customize the questions or what types of questions are available to you. First thing you want to do is go to your products after you've logged into Kajabi and then find the course or offer that you want to add the quiz to. So we have the profitable channel course down here on the bottom. So I'm going to click into that. And if you haven't yet created your product in Kajabi, you will first need to do that. So as you can see here, I have a full curriculum of our profitable channel course. And let's say I wanted to add a quiz to the first section here after the intro. So I'll add it to the end of this stage one area. And what I'm going to do is click on add content and then quiz. So here is where I can start creating this quiz. First thing I like to do is just dive into creating the questions and the answers, and then I can go back and modify the settings and title the quiz accordingly. So here, you can see it's asking us to create the first question and Kajabi allows you to create multiple choice questions, check boxes, short answers, even uploading files. If you're asking for your students, for example, to show their work or to share a filled out worksheet with you. So as a rule of thumb, I find when you're creating quizzes that have multiple choice and check boxes in them, which by the way, you can have images as one of the multiple choice answers or check boxes. So that's cool too. When you're creating with these two options, you're generally quizzing them on what they just learned, right? And assessing their knowledge. So you would type in the multiple choice question in here. And then these are where you would create your options and you can create different options here. You can drag and drop the order of the options. If you wanted to add an image to an option, you could do that here as well. And then once you're done, you would click on add question and there's your question. I'm not going to go through every single type. I just, I'm going to do a quick run through here, but so those are the first two. The second two, I find you can get a lot more data from your students. So if you want to create a quiz that asks them to think critically about a certain topic, uh, or like I said, upload a worksheet or take a photo of their work and, and send it to you, uh, these two questions are really great for that. So just to show you, this is pretty straightforward, right? This is a short answer and then they'll be able to type in here. So I'm just going to add that question and you can create as many questions as you want. You can also click and drag and change the order of the question. See these little six dots. I can move things around easily. So that's the first step is coming in here and creating your quiz. So I'm just going to hit save. And then the next thing I want to do is come into settings. And this is where I can give my quiz a name, a description, and tell Kajabi what sort of automations do I want to attach onto this quiz. So I'm just going to put test quiz, and then you can fill this out here. I'm just going to scroll down. And here are the grading settings. So, so if you want the students to automatically see whether they passed or failed, which is typically good for those checkboxes, multiple choice quizzes, right? you can toggle this on right here. And then you would set the passing grade in terms of what percentage they need to, to get in order to pass. Over here, if you want students right away to see the correct answers after they've filled out a, multi a multiple choice or a checkbox quiz, then you would toggle that on. And you can also tell Kajabi to send out an email to the student with their score and the results of the quiz after they've completed it. So you could toggle that on if you like as well. And there's some additional settings that it can add, that'll ask you about um, what that email will look like, etc. So here's the really cool part about these quizzes. You can add automations to these quizzes. So let's say the student has failed, right? Wouldn't it be cool to send an additional resource to that student or 
upsell them on maybe a one-on-one -on -one coaching session or a group coaching session to get a little bit of extra help. You can create this automation where when a quiz is failed, then you can, for example, grant an offer or, you know, register them to an event or send out an email or add a tag to them. This is really cool because you, you can then tag students and kind of see their progress in terms of how they're doing and offer them additional support. So I really like this part about the quizzes with the automations. With the tagging thing as well, you can even put them into an email sequence that just offers them more support about that topic and maybe nurtures them to get a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with you. The other area here is, well, hit save after you've edited all that stuff. And then the other area here is results. So over here is where you'll be able to review the overall results of the students who are taking your quiz. There's nobody who's taken this quiz yet, thankfully. Um, so there's nothing to show. But once you've created your questions and edited the settings, you can then change this from draft to published and your quiz will be ready to go. So that's how you create a quiz in Kajabi. And if you don't have a Kajabi account yet, I've included that link just in case in the description below. I also offer consulting design and development services to build your Kajabi school if that's something that you need help with. So I'll put a link to that as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.